It's our story. Kathy Martinez, Berkeley, California. Well, I think there's a couple of issues. One, you know, a lot of the youth are benefiting from the work that the previous generations have done to make things accessible. So the struggle is a different struggle. You know, it's not literally people, you know, in Hale's generation and Ed's generation and mine to some extent, we're fighting for physical, cur you know, ramps and physical things. Now that these physical things are becoming part of our society, the, th the, the intangible barriers um, are the ones that the, <clears throat> the youth are dealing with, and it's harder to kind of physically put your finger on those, and it's harder to see that those types of barriers change. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting, you know, with all the cuts that um, this administration is making in social services, at some point, I think, you know, there will be an uprising um, and the tide will change again. And I think the youth will be part of that because they'll realize that, you know, that especially when people's Medicaid starts to be cut and, you know, when cer certain services to kids with disabilities start to get cut, um, I think, you know, that w we'll see a lot more young activists. But also, I think it's the responsibility of the disability rights movement to mentor people. And I think a lot of us have gotten just either too overwhelmed or too, you know, just too involved in what we're doing. And it's one thing that WID really tries to do is to bring young people into the staff and, you know, just have them jump in and be part of the work that we do. But it has to, it's going to, I think it's going to happen. I think, you know, movements kind of ebb and flow. And, and this one is not no different from any other one. But I think as we see services being cut, um, people will mobilize again. They, they just, they will. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.